All right, we're back with game two between Karen Smith and Empo. Empo brings this nasty team that was used a lot on the ulti ladder, so I know this team exactly. It's Fist of Scum with Will and Brave Bird, Spikes and Roost, Wish Chansey with Rock, Seismic Toss, Softball, so it can pass Wishes into Specs Tabulele. This is Max HP Specs Tabulele, which uh, is an interesting set. Um, I would probably prefer Max Speed Lele, but I've heard it lets you live um, stuff like Zardwai, Fire Step, and like Pinsa Return. And if Pinsa is paired with Magnezone and they can trap the Skarmory, Pinsa would be a huge threat to the team. So if that really deals with Pinsa Max HP, then I understand it. Then Gliscor, which is Ice Fang, Roost, Earthquake, Defog um, to help with the Zygarde matchup. Fist Death Packs with Toxic Spikes, Scald, Recover, and Haze. And then a Bulky Volcarona with Z Move, Bug Z. Quiver Dance, um, Bug Buzz, Roost, and Fiery Dance. And on Karen Smith's side, the team is also quite easy to break down. It's going to be Scarf, Lando, Bandit, Weavile, Rocky Helmet, Tornadus, um, Spadef, Tapu Bulu with SD, Leftovers, Protect, Home Leech, SD, Superpower, all that goodness. And then Mega Slowbro, which can be either a slack of um, 3 attacks variant or it can be a slack of 2 attacks variant with Toxic. And then a Choice Bandit, Weavile, if I didn't say that already. And most likely Z Move Rocks Heatran. <coughs> Doesn't need to be lefties on this team since it has uh, grassy terrain support from the Tapu Bulu. So turn one, I assume we're gonna see a knockoff from the tornadoes to get rid of the black sludge. And Empo can just throw off toxic spikes. He could also um, have gone for scald. I assume now he's gonna scald, trying to get the burn or toxic spike again as Torn goes for defog. And yeah, Karen Smith um, has to U-turn out, I guess, or Hurricane Fish for Confusion. Empo can just put toxic spikes back up. They seem really good in this game. They hit Slowbro Weevil and. Um, Tapu Bulu. Also, if the um, Heatron gets low in this match, Volcarona is going to become a huge problem for Karen Smith. Because, like, the Volcarona doesn't have HP ground to hit the trend, but Empo has Hazard stack to chip the trend down. And um, with, with Rocks up and with Quiverdance up, Tornadus is not a Volcarona answer. And uh, this Volcarona is also great because it can wall Weavile, I'm pretty sure, because since its Z move knockoff wouldn't do that much and it resists Icicle Crash and has 244 defense investment. Uh, Empo is going to switch out here, scouting for Psychic, I guess, and um, Karen Smith goes into Heatran. Um, probably predicting the chance he just to double it in and get Rocks up, which is a really good play. Uh, Empo just wants to chip on the Heatran, because like I said, any chip on Heatran is great for Empo. And now he throws up his own Rocks, and um, Karen obviously threatens out the chance with a knockoff here, so Empo is going to switch out in Toxa Packs or into Skarmory. Uh, probably just back into Packs, because the Packs already got knocked off turn 1, so there's no reason to let anything else get knocked off at the moment. Yup, Pex comes out, and now Pex can scald here, just fishing for the burn, and yeah, nothing really wants to come in on scald, so I guess, yeah, I was gonna say Hurricane might just be the play, fishing for confusion, but yeah, since this is a fist death Pex, that Hurricane actually did quite a good amount, and now Empo uh, might want to go into Skamri to not risk getting crit or confused here, uh, or if he wants to stay in, he uh, has to go for recover. But even though the Skam is Fist Death, uh, Rocky Helmet Tornadoes doesn't run any special attack investment. And I'm pretty sure Skam can still come in on Hurricane. Rocky Helmet Torn usually doesn't carry Heat Wave, and we have already seen that he's... Um, actually, I think we have seen the entire moveset from Torn, yeah. It's just U-Turn, Knock Off, Defog, Hurricane, which means uh, Skamry can, can come in on it. Yeah, exactly. Empo doesn't want to risk getting Hex down. So now Skam can either Roost... Uh, I think Roost is the best play, actually, to just play it safe. Yeah, and now he can either go for Spikes or Whirlwind, and Karen is probably gonna have to switch out here eventually. He could also, like if he Brave Bird that could've been bad for Karen, would've brought the Torn really low, if not even killed the Torn, I don't know the calc on that. But yeah, Heatran um, comes in, Empo makes a good double to get the Toxic up activated. Now Karen obviously doesn't wanna stay in here, even though Grassy Terrain is up and Heatran might be able to lift this, uh, barely. Um, there's no reason to stay in, and Empo knows that and doubles out into Chansey just to get the rocks back up. He just wants this rocks up in pressure. Um, Karen's team, like I said, if Heatran gets low, as he's just gonna toss to Chip Heatran. If Heatran gets low, Volcarona um, can easily win this game for Empo. And like Rocks are on his side as, at the moment as well, but it doesn't matter too too much, he can defog them later. So Bulu comes out here, and Chansey just clicks as toss again. Uh, I guess Empo just really, Empo really didn't care if Chansey got trapped from the Heatran because uh, he would get the Heatran so low that the Heatran would be pretty much dead at that point if Chansey would get trapped by the Tran. And uh, Empo can just go for Roost here, he could also Whirlwind out, but yeah, this is just Roost predicting the superpower to come out. And now Empo can go for Spikes here, uh, forcing Karen Smith to defog for him. Like, that's pretty much how this team works. Yes, you have a Volt and it's four times weak to Rocks, but a lot of times the opponent will have to defog because you have Rocks, Spikes, and Toxic Spikes. Just Spikes again, knowing that the defog is gonna come out. Tornadoes cannot stay in here forever because it's burned, uh, which means it takes chip every turn. 
Gen Z comes out and I think he just seismic toss here. Um, Karen cannot stay in. Well, I guess he could rocks as well. But it's like pretty obvious that Karen cannot stay in here because seismic toss uh, would probably kill the torn. If not, seismic toss plus burn would kill the torn. Let's just go for toss in case the tornadoes wanted to go for a knockoff. He wanted to punish that completely understandable. Now he can either go for rocks or go back into his skarmory. Karen goes back in the torn just to get it in before rocks are up. Um, Wants to get that region. Obviously, Defog is the play there to get rid of rocks plus spikes. And now Karen has the U turn, I think. Because you don't want to let the tornadoes go down, obviously. And Ember can just go for rocks again. Like, he's kind of playing his chancy, like, risky ish, but he can afford to do that. Because if Karen loses the torn, or earlier, like I said, if Tren would have beaten the chancy down, it would have been so low that Volk would have pretty much just won. Now, I think uh, Ember is going to switch it into Pax here or into Volcarona. So um, if Karen wants to predict that, I guess uh, Pursuit is a potential play or a doubling out. Does Karen have a double that covers Volk and, um, and Pex? I guess Torn is a potential double, but I don't think that gets you too much. I assume we're going to see a Pursuit. Yeah, there's the Pursuit. And I think that's 40%. That, that's probably Bandit damage because this is a Bolt Max Defense Chansey. And like Chansey is super fat. So now um, Karen should notice that and know that Heatron walls it goes hard into Landris. Does Ampo pull a double, knowing that um, Heatron walls it? Yeah, it just goes in the chance. He doesn't want to stay in there on a potential Earthquake. Karen uh, goes for U-turn, which was super free. Uh, even if Ampo stayed in run for... Well, if Ampo stayed in run for Softball, it would have been annoying for Ampo. But U-turn was just um, the play to make there, because you don't want to Earthquake into the Gliscor. Now, we were, I guess, can pursue the Gliscor, but other than that, we were can't do much. Because uh, either Pax or Volcarona can both come out and take knockoff with ease. Pax is already knocked off, so knockoff um, is weakened. And it's also Fist Death, and it only does 28. So Ampo is free to get the Toxic Spikes back up here or pull a double switch. I mean, he could have also gone Volk to try and get a burn, but just going packs, as you guys can see. 28, so knockoff does less than region will heal back. That does absolutely nothing. This team is so nasty. Like, if it gets a good matchup, this team just wins on its own. You just have to play like not like garbage, and you will win with this team. Uh, like, I haven't used it myself. But I, I've seen people do really well with this on ulti ladder. I think some people crawled with it or at least got to 1900 plus. And I think the Slowbro probably doesn't have Psychic, just the way Karen is playing the Slowbro. Um, it's probably Scald, Ice Beam and the last move could be a coverage move or it could be Toxic. Now um, U-turn on the Chansey is really good for Karen because now if Karen gets the play right, Chansey is gone. Well, would Empo stay in here predicting a Pursuit and go for Softbolt? He could do that. Uh, he does not need Chansey to win, honestly, though. Uh, I could definitely see Karen going for Pursuit again, trend, um, predicting Ampo to switch, because Ampo does have Pax and Volk that both can come in on um, on a knockoff from the Weaver. Goes for Pursuit, breaking the switch, gets rid of the Chansey, which is cool, I guess. Um, get some flex points right there. But now, potentially, um, Specs Tabulele could come out, or Volcarona comes out, okay. Corona comes out. Weaver has to switch out here, obviously. Uh, into Heatran or Landris might also come out. Yeah, Landris comes out because this Volcarona has no special attack investment and it's Fiery Dance. Uh, Ample doubles out, which um, I guess he was predicting either the Landris or... And this is Ice Fang, so he might double again on the obvious Slowbro. He doesn't. I was gonna say he predicted either the Landris or the Heatran to come out. Uh, Lele can come in on Slowbro quite easily because it's max HP and has good natural speed death. And now we can just fire off a Choice Specs Moonblast here. And I guess he, if Heatron wants to come out, Heatron will get beaten down by rocks. And even though, like, if Psychic comes out, Heatron will get destroyed. But if Moonblast comes out, which I assume is Ampo's play, because he doesn't want a Psychic move into a Weavile. He always wants to go for Moonblast here, which hits everything hard. And even the trend, if it comes out, it takes rocks. And Moonblast should still do, like, 12%. Actually, does 18%. So Choice X Mod is Lily is so strong, beats down the trend, puts it solo. It's pretty much dead at this point, even though, like, he gets up rocks, okay, but... Now he pretty much loses to the Volcarona. And um, yeah, he's just gonna click Moonblast here. Karen is probably gonna sack the train because the train is not coming back to life. He doesn't have like Healing Wish or anything to bring it back. So yeah, just sacks it. It was dead to rocks anyway, so that wasn't really a point, especially if you don't have a switch in. Now Weaver comes out and Knockoff or Pursuit coming out here. Hmm. Does try to Pursuit, Ampo just stays in. He did not need the Lele to win, I guess. Mm -hmm. And. Like, Lele pretty much destroyed Karen whenever it came in on Slowbro, so I understand why uh, Karen wanted to pursue the Lele, um, try and, in case Ampo wanted to save it. But, like, I feel like this is a rough matchup for Karen. 
And now Slowbro can obviously threaten out the Gliscor. Toxapex comes out. Uh, Empo, I guess, at this point knows that this probably doesn't have Psychic. It's called Ice Beam Slack Off plus either Courage Move or Toxic, like I said earlier. So Karen's just trying to get a burn on this Toxapex to chip it down. And... Like, Empo still wants the rocks on the other side, because the chip is really good. But obviously the rocks are annoying for his Volcarona. If the rocks were off on Empo's side, the Volcarona would win even easier than it already does. But yeah, Toxic Spikes go up. So Karen, um... Now, Karen definitely doesn't want to defo. Karen needs the rocks for the Volcarona. So Skarmory comes out, uh, which means Empo is either gonna roost here, or just, um, yeah, just roost. Now he can get up a spike or he can just whirlwind around. Karen is just gonna keep fishing, I assume. Did he whirlwind or did he get up a spike? Yeah, he whirlwinds the Slowbro out. And to Bulu, so yeah, he just wanted to fi um, bring out a, a grounded mon, which was Bulu, that's the only grounded mon. Slowbro was already out. So that way he gets uh, status. And now a Roost could come out. Whirlwinds again. I guess it doesn't matter, because, yeah. Then this, um, this is a free as Roost slash uh, spike slash. Whirlwind again. Okay, so he's just spamming Whirlwind. He wants uh, the chip damage. Okay, he wants the chip damage on everything. So he might just keep spamming, or does he roost now? Okay, I thought, I th like, the way he was playing it, I thought he might just want to sack it, but I guess he knew that he could, um... Yeah, the Landros obviously couldn't touch the Skarmory, so... And that does reveal to be Flamethrower slow, bro. So I'm thinking the last move is Ice Beam. Um, Flamethrower, Scald, Slack of Ice Beam. Um... Because Ice Beam Slowbro is like one, a really good Zygarde check or answer, counter even if, if Zygarde doesn't have Toxic, it's like a really great answer. And Bulu can get overpowered by Zygarde so it makes sense to have a Slowbro with Ice Beam to help with that. Like he didn't reveal Ice Beam yet but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Sex of the um, Skarmory to now go into Specs type of Lele most likely, yeah. And yeah, uh, Empo just clicks Moonblast here and Karen has to pick a sack because Specs Lele is busted as it's so strong. Dude, this, this mon is so stupid to switch into. If you don't have a Jirachi, or like... Yeah, Jirachi is like one of the best answers for it. Because they don't really use Shadow Ball that much. If Jirachi was like on every team, I'm pretty sure Specs Lily would use Shadow Ball. But Jirachi is not that common. So Sex of the Taunt to Moonblast here, I think. Moonblast was always the play. I don't see another reason. I don't see a reason to click anything else. So Scarflander can come out here and... Either U-turn or HP Ice or whatever. U-turns, Empo goes Pex. Uh, even if it Earthquake there, Pex could have lived that quite easily because it's Fizz Death. Like Scarf Lando, um, Earthquake might do like around half, maybe a little bit more than half to Pex. Super bulky. M maybe, actually, I, I don't know the calc on that, but it, it only does like around half, maybe a bit less. But yeah, it goes hard into Volcarona now and the Horn Leech. And now um, the Volcarona can either Roost or Quiver Dance. If Lando dies to rocks, then the Volcarona just wins at this point. I think he can just Quiver Dance here, right? Fire Dance is okay. And now, um... Fire Dance? Okay, Fire Dance was a good play in case Karen tried to go hard into Landris. And, um... Now he just bug buzzes, and yeah, Landris cannot live that, and obviously the game is over. Okay, Karen tried to get the Landris in on a Quiver Dance because this Volcarona does not have that much speed investment, I think. Which means the landers would have outsped it. Uh, so Karen like tried to catch Empo on a choke, I think. But Bugbus always got him a kill there. Like either Slowbro, Bulu or Landers, whatever came out or stayed in, would have died to Bugbus. So Empo made the correct play there. Um Yeah, I feel like I could have played a few plays a little bit better, but overall my narration was fine, I think. Thank you guys for watching. Empo takes the series 2-0. Yeah, versus Karen Smith quite surprising. Um both are great players. Uh, it was fun to watch overall, but I'm not the biggest fan of this nasty ass team. Uh, I see you guys with more ulti coverage and with more smoke and snake in the next days. And I thank you for watching, and I wish you a fantastic day and goodbye. And props to Ample Bob. And he's like a pretty great player, not gonna lie. Nice. <laughs>